okay guys so welcome to the sculpting series and this is the me this is me actually again uh, at the end of the tutorial series so this is the character that we will sculpt and this is how he turned out and for me he looks mm, nice like he's not the best character uh, that I've done but I think there's a lot of things that you can learn uh, except from the faults on the shirt I'm not good at it so that's why the shirt looks so weird but it's like it's good enough for this character so there's few things I want to talk about before you go to this sculpting tutorial is that you have to have basic knowledge of sculpting and uh, navigating around the 3d viewport in blender and Basically, this character is based on other uh, from the concept I found on Pinterest, and I will leave the link in the description of the artist and all credits to him. Very nice character, and as you can see, if you look at the <laughs> the picture, uh, the character is posed, but here he's not posed, and the reason for that is I I wanted to focus mainly. On the sculpting and teach you guys about sculpting not about rigging but if you have uh, if you want me to do a rigging tutorial just let me know in the comments and I will do it so without further further ado I think it's how you say it let's let's start sculpting guys so basically a few things before we start the sculpt so I have few add-ons that I enabled so you can skip this part I will put the time mark if you want to skip this part but basically if you go to edit go to preferences this window where well, let me drag it should appear and I have few add-ons first I have pie menu add-on and thanks to this add-on you can basically have this nice uh, pie menus so you can quickly switch around with things and I already mentioned it in my previous tutorial so I hope you already have it and I think that's it basically so those are mo most important add-ons and also as you can see I have finally screencast so you can see what I click so let's start guys okay so actually before we start I want to set up a few things so uh, as you can see you have the sculpting panel here at the top and I want to change it basically I, I don't want it to be like this so basically if you go to sculpting and you can do a few things to adjust as you can see it's new blender so I don't have my uh, settings here that's why I have to set up everything from the beginning and also I'm sculpting on the new computer so I'm quite excited to see if it's uh, good or not so first thing you drag it down and I want to change this type uh, like this view to also be 3d viewport so you just change it to 3d viewport and let's drag it more to the left and first we want to go to the maximum right so if you hold middle mouse button here you can go to the right and first I want to change the matcap of this so you click here you go to matcap and let's change it to be this second one so you can see that the cube is quite different color now and we want to hide everything that is not necessary so I, I don't want to see this and this so you just click here and here and it will hide everything that is not necessary and if you right click here you can hide the header so you have basically nothing here and I will switch this view to be my front no my right view so i will see my character from the right side and i don't know if i can disable the okay i actually can disable the shortcut here so i will have to leave it here and now once you have it done uh, we can join if you right click here you can join this area with the bottom area so now we have two viewports and if you drag from the top to down it will split the view into two viewports and now we want to change our bottom viewport to be the front so I will just change it to front view 
So I think that's basically it. We want also to do it, do the same with here. So I will change the matcap to this one, and I will leave actually the because I will need it. So I will leave it here, and that's it, guys. So this is the basic setup for sculpting, and we can actually start sculpting.